Hello and welcome to another AIC Guns video. So today I'm out shooting. Well, this is the first time I've actually had a chance to go shooting in many months that wasn't at the uh, gun range. And I just can't record there. It's too much noise and they don't let you record anyways. But I just want to be out here for a few minutes. Um, tomorrow is my birthday so I took today off to get some stuff done and then just enjoy the day. Tomorrow I'll be at work and I, I had too much going on that I couldn't take tomorrow off. So that's neither here nor there but i just want to do just a couple updates on a couple of my firearms first and foremost i want to talk about this uh winchester it is a full metal jacket um with a steel case and i am not impressed so here is the round see that uh when i'm in with a luger it's kind of hard to see in the video, but it is very matte and has a lot of texture to it. Just, this is what I was shooting. This is some tool. We have tool ammo, 9mm Luger. And it's a much more uh, smooth case. I don't know if they lacquer these, um, but it definitely is a smoother case on there. It also has a much... more a much thicker rim i haven't shot these yet i'm going to be shooting I'm, i was just loading these just now that's what made me think of the video um but as far as loading it these are a lot easier to load the tool ammo because it's um yeah it just these kind of grip to each other as you're loading them into your magazine kind of pain in the butt uh, but i've been shooting that through my g2c And my Citadel Madagascar, both 9mm. I've already loaded up my uh, Madagascar mags here. And one of my G2C mags. Alright, so I'm going to edit this in, but I am less than impressed with this Winchester ammo. This is my second failure um, with it. I had one with the um citadel i now have one with my taurus failure to eject and yeah i've i have 2000 rounds through this gun with exactly zero issues and i have probably 800 to 1000 rounds through this gun with zero issues so it's not a gun issue it is decidedly this ammo less than impressed so this will be on my shooting block i'll get rid of this and replace it with better ammo don't buy this winchester uh usa forged or whatever it's called it's crap so i'll edit this into the <laughs> rest of the video um where i'm talking about it so yeah it's my opinion of this crap and yet another failure to eject what a piece of crap i am very disappointed in this ammo huh. all right just wanted to showcase that again close to a thousand rounds through this gun zero issues two failures out of the same box of winchester crap ammo disappointed and then i was shooting my ars and ever since i built this one i've had constant problems with it and i finally swapped bolts with my other rifle and it's definitely a problem with the bolt. This sticks, it doesn't move. I don't know what the problem is, but um, the bolt I have in here, let me drop that bag. Has a label on it. Whatever that is, actually functions in the gun where this one does not. It doesn't work in either of the rifles, but that bolt functions just fine in this rifle so it's definitely a bolt issue so i hope you get a new bolt carrier group here um to replace that one because that one sucks not sure what i'm going to do with this one but it doesn't work i also finally got a chance to shoot my dan weston kodiak 10 millimeter this is a sweet gun oh my goodness i've never shot a 10 millimeter before it definitely is a bit of a hand cannon definitely is you can feel the difference for sure between the nine millimeter and the 10 millimeter i don't have my 45 with me today 
What else am I shooting? I'm shooting my uh, little LCP2 and 22 long rifle. Um, ignore the white on there. That's from uh, some drywall spackle I've been doing. And I just happened to grab it when my hand was dirty out of my pocket. So I have some more 22 I'm going to load up, some more 10 millimeter, and some more 223. And yeah, if you have any questions about any of these, uh, definitely let me know in the comment section. I've done specific videos on most of these on my, on my other channels, but uh, if you have any questions or any comments, thoughts, leave that down in the description down below. Um, I don't remember the brands on these, but these flash suppressor things, um, this one does a pretty good job of suppressing the flash. This one does not, even in bright daylight, it is a fireball out the front of the gun. It's kind of fun to watch, but yeah, that's it. That's, I'm going to do some more shooting and uh, then head home once I'm out of ammo. All right. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.